Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a tip that has to do with external references. And it's gonna come in handy if you've ever wanted to grab objects from an external reference and bring it and use it inside of your current drawing. Okay, now a long time ago, I showed you a tip called N copy, an express tool called N copy. I'll show it to you right here. Express tool. And it's underneath blocks, copy nested objects. That allows you to grab objects from an XREP or a block one at a time and copy them into your current drawing one at a time. Oh yeah, which works great if you get paid by the hour. Okay, if you don't get paid by the hour, you're gonna like my tip this time. This allows you to put a window around objects in an XREP or use a fence or you can use a lasso, whatever makes you happy. You can grab multiple objects at a time using all of those amazing selection set options. Okay, all right, so this is another way of doing it. All right, so follow along. There's a few steps in here, but if you wanna grab a whole bunch of objects, it's well worth the steps, okay? All right, so I have an XREF on here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. You're gonna see it is an XREF. And when I click on it, I can tell it's an XREF because you will see that the ribbon automatically changes. Hopefully you're using the ribbon so that I have options that have to do with an external reference. And I want to edit this reference in place. All right, now, no surprise, it's brilliant. It tells me which XREF it is. That's the one I want, <laughs> no surprise. And I want to prompt to select nested objects, okay? I'm gonna pick the objects that I want to pull into my current drawing. So I'm gonna say, okay. And then make sure you put a window around the objects that you're after, or you can use a lasso, whatever you want. You can make it a big window, it's up to you. Don't pick everything though. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of be sloppy here. My goal is to grab the objects that are part of the store and all these objects over here, okay? A bunch of objects, I wouldn't wanna pick those one at a time because I'm lazy. You've watched me before, I'm lazy. I don't wanna pick, I don't wanna have to do a lot of work, all right? And so I just put kind of a big window in there. All right, so now I am done with the objects that I'm after. Those are the ones that I'm after in there. And so I'm gonna do a copy. I'm gonna do a copy, just a regular old copy. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select these guys right here. Those are the only ones I want. I don't want the other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a displacement, a little base point over there. And let's move it clear over here so it's really clear what's going on, all right? So there's my copy. Those are the objects I want to bring into my current drawing, right? I made a copy of those objects. It was easy. I grabbed a whole bunch of them at one time just using a regular window. And once again, you can use your selection set of choice, okay? You can pick them any way you want. <laughs> so there they are. All right, I'm good. I'm happy. Well, what am I going to do now? All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my extra because I need to get that toolbar back because it likes to disappear. It's a little frustrating. I'm going to select my extra That's why you can't pick everything. You need to be able to select that extra to get your toolbar back. And when I do that, I'm going to say remove from the working set. What do I want to remove from the working set? I don't want these guys to get saved with my extra You're going to mess up your extra if you do that. So remove this from the the working set, nice arc remove, you go away, you're out of the working set, you're no longer part of that extra, forget about it, pretend it never happened, okay, it never happened, blink your eyes, men in black, the machine, it never happened, all right, I don't know what it's called, some of you's gonna, one of you's gonna tweet me and tell me, some of you tweet me to tell me what it's called, I don't know what it's called, forget about it, never happened, all right, so uh, now what am I gonna do, I'm gonna click on the extra again so I get that toolbar back, and when I do that, I'm all good now. I don't need to save the changes. I'm going to discard the changes. You can save the changes if you want, because I haven't actually physically affected my XREF in any way, but I'm just going to discard the changes. Discard the changes, because I don't want to affect my XREF at all. It makes me feel better deep down inside. So what's happened now? My XREF has not been affected at all. No one's going to yell at me for messing up the XREF. But if I come over here, check this out, I was able to mine this data. All these, these are lines now. All these individual objects were able to be copied out of the XREF. No problem. Easy enough. I didn't have to draw them again myself. And I told you I'm lazy. I don't want to do any extra work if I don't have to. All right. So this shows you how you can go inside, reach inside of an extra app and pull out as many objects as you want. There's just a few steps involved, but you can play this video over and over and over so that you know all of the top secret steps. All right. It's well worth learning the steps. Better than picking them one at a time or heaven forbid just drawing the objects. How boring is that? <laughs> All right, so hope you learned something today, and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for your time.